Hello YouTube, and uh, this is one of the first videos of X Overclock, and um, yeah, as you saw, um, my uh, my friend, me and him started this channel, and we do videos together, so we both do videos, and um, he does more games, and I do more computers, and that's all you really need to know, but in this video, we're gonna uh, test out PowerPC Max, and see how they compare to like, everyday tax tests, and see like, how what they can do, and how good they are. So for this test we're going to use um, obviously a Power Mac G5. It's a dual 2 gigahertz. It has only 512 megabytes of RAM because I haven't upgraded it yet. I plan to do that soon. And I also plan to do a review on this. And so uh, let's do the first test and see booting up. So uh, yeah. Um, here we go. Alright guys. So uh, yeah sorry I had to cut the video. And, alright, let me turn on my monitor, so I don't have a tripod, and uh, we're going to do it to the, when we get to the desktop, so it's going to be a little longer, if we did it to the blue screen it would be a little bit shorter, but we're going to use my iPad as a timer, and uh, 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, forgot to start the timer. Alright, we'll give it about like two seconds. Oh, and the bong just went off and I forgot the sound. My speakers. So, um, yeah, this is our channel, guys, and, uh, if you guys want any videos that we, we can do any video, and we're just kind of starting off as, with some, uh, some weird ideas, like, we don't really know what to start out with that much, so, um, I thought this would be kind of fun, and I will put this in the video to see how far it is, and how long it took, and it took about 45 seconds, because we had to add 2 seconds obviously, because I didn't start the timer. Alright, so now we are in Mac OS X, and I will go to ScreenFlow to show you how that even works. Alright everybody, so now we're in Screen Mimic, which is the best um, recording software for PowerPC, in my opinion. So we're going to open up Safari and see how fast web browsing is in PowerPC. And uh, I do have an airport card, but there's no antenna, so it's a little bit slower. And it's going to load Google, and that loads fine. So now let's go to YouTube. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, it loads pretty fast, and it loads faster than all my other laptops and stuff. So, let's wait for this to fully load, the ad up top, for it to start playing. Can't believe it's already the Samsung Galaxy S4, but that's another topic. So now we're going to go to my channel, and, uh... Yeah, so we're going to watch this video. And it, I think it starts out in 360p playing. But that's okay, because we'll change it. 720p, which is the real deal, because most people watch 720p nowadays. Now you have to take into consideration that the screen recording is going on. Then it's going to be a little bit slower when it's going on. And, uh, it is really laggy, but Flash is, uh, pretty bad on the PowerPC. But it's still watchable. I watch tons of YouTube videos on this computer. So, uh, yeah, web browsing works, definitely, it, and, uh, yeah, it's just that the screen recording for Flash, and it usually plays other videos fine, so, um, now we're gonna open up Microsoft Word, and, uh, see how productivity apps work on the Mac, which, obviously, it's gonna load, and this is Microsoft Word 2008, for Mac, so that's pretty cool. Let's let that load. Usually it takes about 15 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds, but it takes about 30 seconds to open on, on, uh, on with the screen recording, which is understandable. Everything, this, um, this is the only screen recording software we're actually like 
you can actually move the mouse around without it lagging, so. Screen recording isn't very good on on uh, power PC, obviously. So, uh, yeah, Word opened, and obviously you can type, do all your stuff in here. And, um, yeah, so productivity, I mean, if, like, you want to type a paper for school or you need spreadsheets and Excel or you need to make a presentation, that, that'll that work fine on here. And, uh if you if you're fine using Word two thousand eight and you don't want and you're and you don't need uh, a later version of Word. I was just testing the keyboard because I thought it, it died for a second because I do have a wireless keyboard plugged in right now. So uh yeah. Now we're gonna do one more test. We're gonna do um, a gaming test with Armageddon Advanced and Minecraft. Armageddon is kind of like Tron. And it's a fun game. And it doesn't really require that much power. You could probably run on like Windows 95. But that's okay. And even with the screen recording, it doesn't look that slow. So, um, yeah, let's just search for an online game so I can show you what online games are like. And I'll go into the game and... Yeah, here we are, playing. Not very good, as you guys are aware. Yeah, and so the other guy's moving around, and I'm moving around, and he can probably see me moving around. Which also has to do with the internet. And I died. <laughs> Over here, I think. Oh, I exit. Yeah, so light gaming works, and but um, a lot of people use Minecraft, and um, yeah, Minecraft runs fine, but it runs. It uses tons of power, and you can't really do anything else once so open. So having the screen recording on while using Minecraft, it doesn't look too good. So let's open Minecraft and open to my world. Uh, let's take it a little bit. Here we go. I'm gonna go into my world. Thomas is kick ass world, yeah. Building terrain. This actually does run faster than it does on a lot of other computers that I've seen. Like just uh, last weekend, I brought it to my uh, relative's house and on a flash drive and put it in a wind on Windows 7 with uh, an i5 and it didn't even run as fast on here. It did have integrated graphics though, so yeah. Well, this is going to load. And as you can see, it's uh, it's only like 10 frames per second with their screen recording, but it usually runs fine, and as you can see, because if you look around, I have tons of villages and houses and stuff that I've built. I'm not a big Minecraft person, but I, I play it once in a while. Uh, so, uh... Yeah, let's just fly around, just turn the volume down, because the sound doesn't work for some reason. But I didn't exactly get this, pay for this though, so it could just be that. So, um, yeah, it looks fine. There's no problems with it. So, um, yeah guys, Power PC is pretty, pretty, pretty usable today. And uh, a lot of people disagree, and they need um, they need two thousand, three thousand dollar computers for just web browsing and stuff. But I mean, all I really do is do web browsing and some light video editing and some light gaming like this. That's why I have an Xbox, so I don't have to play games on my computer. 
And, uh, yeah, people with $2,000 computers play just checking emails and stuff and watching YouTube, which you can all do on this, on PowerPC. And you could probably do it on a Power PowerBook G4, too, which is obviously a laptop. So, um, yeah, now we're going to open XMBC so I can show you what um, 720p videos are really like when, you are, when you're watching, like, TV shows and stuff. I am recording this after I recorded it, so, uh, yeah, I just decided I would show you guys because I use XMBC all the time for, uh, because on PowerPC you can't watch Netflix. Which is kind of a bummer because there's no silver light two. There's only silver light one. You need silver silver light two for Netflix and uh, yeah. So I use one channel and Ice Films those two plugins, and I watch all my shows and all the movies and stuff. And they're free, so that's a bonus. So uh, just open the South Park add-on. The season, I don't know, 15. Whatever, just click on this random one. 1%. One okay, so that's opening. Yeah, and as you can see, it's in 720p right there. And, uh,. It's a lot. It's loading fine. It's pretty cool. So um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, guys. And um, PowerPC is still usable today, which is pretty cool.